I think a lot of different things drive me. I, um, one, knowing that so many people are rooting for me in my corner. I, ha I come from a very athletic family. My brother played in the NFL. My father did, was a swimmer and my mom ran track. My uncle and cousin both play major league baseball. So like having those type of figures in my life who I put on these pedestals tell me how cool it is that uh, that I'm pursuing this sport, how much respect they have. It's like I earned my seat at the table. And so knowing that helps me to stay focused when it got hard because it does get hard. Like going down that track is almost like a mile long car crash. Like you just feel like it's never ending sometimes on top of like the behind the scenes work. Like we, we're our own pit crew. We're moving the sleds. Like we travel each week. We're in a different country. I'm around a, a new group of women for 24 seven. And so it was a big adjustment for me and I didn't want to stick around for a lot of it. But I think that knowing that I had very supportive people in my corner, it kept me on that straight and narrow as well as like finding stuff I like to do. I think that <laughs> A lot of times we put so much pressure on staying in that zone and staying focused, focused, and I need it balanced. So we're traveling around the country and around the world and going to different countries. And I'm going and experiencing those cultures. I'm going and eating at these restaurants, doing shopping, walking around, going to museums and just em embracing the culture. And it made it more of an experience for me versus like a job and, and just something I was there to do. Like I appreciated being in these different places and realizing that my talent took me there. In college, College. What kept me motivated in college? Graduating one kept me motivated. I think coming from where I'm from, you want to stick it out. You want the prestige to say you, you've graduated from college and, and you went on to do these things. So like, I definitely wanted to rep and, and make sure that I finished out strong um, and I had the successful career to go with it. But I think that for me in college, it was about seeing how far I can go. My sophomore year of college when I transferred to U of I, in that season, I went from being just like in the regionals or barely making it to conference to like Big Ten, all, Big Ten record holder, all American, all these prestigious honors. I went to the 2008 Olympic trials and I realized like how much talent was there, how much power I had there. And so then it became a, a fun game of seeing how far I could go. And I think that that aspect really helped me because in collegiate sports, you have support from the, the, the organization and your school. And so to have all those resources at my hands, I wanted to, to maximize it. Sacrifice for me um, is a lot. I, I'm very empathetic. I, I enjoy spending like time with people and and um, having that connection and that chemistry. And so with bobsled, I'm away a lot. In sports, you travel a lot and I'm not with my family. So like sacrificing time away from my family or um, time to myself, like in sports, you wish your teammates all the time. And again, like I may seem cool and extroverted now, but I'm not, I'm very introverted. I recharge by like chilling by myself, binge watching some shows, like just taking time to myself. And I didn't really get that. So like. Like, I had to sacrifice different things that made me comfortable and really use that to perform. Like if I didn't make those sacrifices, I wouldn't be able to be who I am. I think that with sacrifice, you gotta know and trust that the reward is better than what you're missing out on, what you're sacrificing and have faith in it. Sacrifice definitely strengthened my faith. Like understanding that I was making these sacrifices for a reason made me believe in the reason even more.